Spurgeon here with Revzilla, and in this video we're going to break down the Wolfman waterproof tank bags available at Revzilla.com. So Wolfman is back and they have updated their entire line of luggage and the main change you're going to see to these waterproof tank bags is the fact that they are now indeed waterproof and it's really going to come down to the material. This is going to be an 840D nylon TPU that's going to have a complete waterproof shell built right into the material. Now one of the things that I really like about Wolfman is that they're rugged. The stuff holds up over time. It can take abuse and I would expect nothing different with this. The material is extremely beefy. Um, and like I said, I've got experience with this uh, line of luggage really beating the crap out of it. So what you're going to see on the table are three different offerings. You're going to have the tin cup, which is the smallest bag in the lineup, and this is 1.2 liters. In the middle, you have the Enduro. This is 4 liters. And on my left-hand side, you have the Blackhawk, which is a 10-liter tank bag. That's going to be the biggest tank bag from Wolfman at the moment. Prices will range from around 40 bucks up to around 190 and really what you're going to note there is that we do have Revzilla's price match guarantee, so you are guaranteed to get the lowest price. Now, what I like about the Enduro in particular is that this works for adventure bikes. It also works for dual sports. The size is nice and compact. I can keep a tube in here as well as a couple of tools to change a flat tire, but it's not so big that it's smashing me in the crotch when I'm riding standing up on a larger adventure bike. I've had a lot of problems using um, larger tank bags in the past when you try to stand up on a bike. It really just inhibits your range of motion. I like this one because I can get it forward enough on my 1090 um, that I can use it for storage, but that it doesn't inhibit me when I'm really trying to ride off-road. The tin cup is going to be the same way. Now, what I will say with the tin cup is that this is going to be the smallest of the bunch of 1.2 liters. This is really something for just carrying your daily odds and ends, maybe your wallet, your cell phone, uh, some credit cards. You can possibly squeeze a tube in here, but even as I'm saying that, I don't believe it myself. So I would say that if you're looking at for something carrying a tube or larger, you would want to at least consider the Enduro with the four liter capacity. So. The construction is going to be the same. Like I said, it's an 840D uh, nylon TPU. And when you're looking at this, the main thing that you'll notice on the top is that you are going to have this map pocket. Everything is going to be done in black and high vis yellow. You can open it up on the back side. You can slide the map or your cell phone or a small tablet down inside. And then you have the Velcro on the back. Now, the nice thing is, if you don't want to use this, you can take that off. And then the Velcro is actually removable. So you'll see that it actually passes through on the bottom here. Actually, I've got to grab it from the right side. So if you want to, you can actually pull the Velcro strip out and remove it, um, which is just a nice little feature for those of you that don't want to use the map pocket. Now, what you will see is you're still going to have this uh, rip cord on the top. What I really like about these, and I have one on the old Enduro that I have, it does do a good job of when you get to where you're going, you can kind of slide your gloves underneath here um, or other odds and ends that you want to hold. I will say that I, I very rarely use this while I'm actually riding um, as far as holding something into place. Um, not that it couldn't be done, it's just that I tend to use this more just as a place to stick the pair of gloves when you're done riding at the end of the day. Now the big note here is just the redesign for the material, but with it being waterproof now, you are going to get water resistant. YKK zips, and you are going to have the little flap that kind of comes down on top, little grab handle here at the front, which flips over the front of it. The other thing you'll note too is you now are going to have, let me just pull this out of the way, you are now going to have contrasting yellow on the inside, um, and you will notice that these are all going to be the same on the inside. So I'm really just using the, uh, the inside of the Enduro to show us exactly what's going on. Uh, but you are going to have the contrasting yellow, which just makes it easier to make it really easy to see what items you have in the bag. And then you are going to have this plastic strip that runs around the inside as well to hold its semi-rigid shape. For the Enduro and the Blackhawk, when you get to the inside, there is going to be this removable pouch. So you can see it's a strap here that you can put around your waist, you can throw it over your shoulder. And this is really just like a document pouch. Um, you can take it out completely if you don't want it, or you can just leave it in there and uh, you just tuck the straps up underneath. But that's just another little addition um, from a storage piece that Wolfman has included. Now, for me personally, uh, that would be something that I would probably just take out and set aside uh, in my basement garage. But uh, for those of you that want a place to kind of store additional documents or anything like that, and you want a place to wrap it around your waist like a fanny pack, uh, that is an option for you. Now, speaking of fanny packs, let's get into the mounting for these. So if you're looking at the two bags for my middle and my left, so we're talking about the Enduro and the Blackhawk, this is going to come with mounting straps. And you see it has the female ends of the buckles right here at the front and the back, and it will come with the straps you need to wrap around to the steering head. You can simply wrap it around the steering head in the front, it slides into place, 
You then click the buckle in as so. Super easy to get it on and off. You're then gonna have two additional straps which come with it that you can wrap around another hard part and that would mount to the back. So based on my experience, it's something that's extremely easy to mount to a adventure or a dual sport motorcycle given the points on that bike. When you're looking at the tin cup, this little guy, this you have to, pa you have to purchase the mounting separately and that's because you have a couple different mounting options. You can go with the fanny pack mount and you can actually wear this as a little, little pouch around your fanny. You're also going to notice that there is the bottom on this one is Velcro. So you do have a couple different options for how you can mount this. You can get a uh, two different tank bag bases. So you can get a slope tank bag base or you can get a crowned tank bag base. You can also mount it to the face plate on a dirt bike or a dual sport. And then again, you do have the waist belt option as well as a side strap. So this one is going to be the standalone little bag at 40 bucks. And then you do have to figure out which mounting strap you wanna go with. Uh, when you're looking at the larger two bags, this will come with mounting. But really what we're looking at here from Wolfman is a kind of a step up from what they've done previously. I've really liked their luggage in the past, but it hasn't been waterproof when you're looking at their tank bags. So you now get a waterproof option as you're looking for throughout their line with three different sizes to choose from. And like I said, I've beat the hell out of Wolfman stuff for a while now. So from a testament standpoint, this stuff is pretty darn durable for all you off-road adventure riders out there. But there's a lot of other folks using Wolfman. So you can check out what they have to say by clicking that little info button on your desktop or mobile device, which will allow you to read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting Wolfman through its paces. If you have more questions as to which tank bag is right for you and your riding style, you can always reach out to one of our gear geeks at 877-792-9400. Or, five, five, or you can shoot an email over to cs at revzilla.com. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the new line of Wolfman waterproof tank bags. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.